Okay, uh, we're standing, I'm standing in front of the house, and um, you can see it was an intersecting road to the house up there. Um, this is uh, next door. This is your driveway here, and there's a house right next door. Um, and you have trees in between. Of course, in the winter, they're not leafed out, but once they once spring hits, they'll be leafy, and you probably won't even see the home. So, um, on your other side, you have a, a neat little home um, that looks uh, looks like it's been well cared for, and you, oh, you have a nice flower garden in front. So I'm gonna walk back here and see if I can find the pond. We have a large backyard and a really nice deck on the back. Um, there's a creek. There's your creek. Right down there. Um, what? Alright, it looks... Okay, it looks like the pond is over here. And fortunately, it's not on the side by the rundown house. It's on the side with a, with a nice uh, vinyl side of home. Here is the pond, not real big. Somebody might have had some cattle left here at one point, and that would have been for them. Okay, so here is the pond. And you can see it is a shared pond. Um, it, three quarters of it would be yours. And part of it is on the uh, property for the house next door. But most of it is, would be on your side. So you have trees and stuff up here. Um, blocking your view of the road that goes up there. We're walking back to the house. A lot of walking. I'm not very good. I'm, I'm 72, so walking is not my best uh, attribute. So we're gonna come around and go in the front. There's a nice uh, nice deck here in the front as your porch. It's made like a deck, but it is a porch. Oh, try the last one. That's hard. Okay, as you can see, it's, um, it's wide enough to put some rocking chairs out here if you want. And I'm going to set the code here. It's a little tricky. You have to do it just right. There we go. Right. Okay, this not sure what both are for.
Nice. Hello, anyone here? Oh, hi, I'm a realtor. I'm taking a video of the house. Wanda. Yes. Oh, don't worry. Okay. You're fine. I'm sorry. Doing some last minute stuff that never got done. Oh, but you're doing it. Okay, excellent. Okay, so this is your downstairs. Um, get over in the corner. Nice and large. Your kitchen is right over there. We'll be going there in a minute. You have a loft up here. Very pretty little ceiling fan. Um, I just had six, um, hip surgery about three weeks ago, so I'm not gonna do the stairs, but you can certainly see. And then the picture on the MLS is also a picture of the loft. It's on the, the top side. Okay, so you have a nice, nice big room. That goes around to the back. Okay, and you have your outside your uh, access door to the outside and also there's a nice size room in here uh, this could easily be a bedroom you could of course make it an office if you don't need a bedroom tell you where you can see i'd say this is probably 13 by maybe 15. Bigger than most office spaces. And you could certainly put, I think you could put a queen bed in here. I'm pretty sure you could. And you have a, a nice closet here. Looks like the doors are too. There are some guys working on, as you heard earlier, working on the house today. So we're gonna walk downstairs. into this, probably, probably just meant to be a dining room. So you could do anything that you want with the space. Nice and big. And you have a gorgeous kitchen over here. Um, all right, this has um, shiny material. I think it's probably shellac. This on the, on the top, and you have a live edge on the edges. It's not just a plain straight with a great ledge. It's really nice. And these are more expensive to do, by the way. Right. You have more um, workspace over here. Okay, and okay, this one. Let me try the other one. I think these are soft closed doors. When you get it almost all the way, you just let go and it comes back to a uh, word, um, comes back to closed. So here is your uh, range, it's a range top. Very nice uh, backsplash, plenty of cabinets up here and they've got really nice cabinet hardware. It's one way I can tell if the cabinets are uh, nice, if they're good. Oh, of course, you have your microwave up here. And I'm sure that would stay. It didn't say that on the MLS sheet, but, you know, it would be kind of hard to take that and, and um, you know, use it. So, the oven, you have a double oven. Space up here for whatever you want, maybe cookbooks or plants or something like that. Walk around this, a nice big island. Here's more of your live edge. Things which I think are very pretty. And you have a new looking fridge. Okay. Right. And we'll 
going to look. Um, we're, right now we're in the area that was probably the dining room. And, um, okay, here is a, a large, wow, really big uh, bathroom. As you can see, it has a tub and shower combo. Uh, plain space for linens, whatever you want to put here. It has a, um, a really nice sink. Nice flooring, of course you're taller. And you have this room would be, I would think, for storage. Um, it doesn't have rods like a closet, but you could put them up and make it into a large closet. Okay, this is also the laundry room. So you have a, your water heater here. This is your laundry hookups. And okay, there's your um, exhaust, oh, not exhaust, you know, the, the air that comes out of the dryer. That's fine. Very large. Okay, right here is another bedroom. And this, um, I don't know, this might be the master. Because of when it was built, they weren't, of course, doing ensuite um, master bedrooms back then. And um, so, but this could easily be your master bedroom. It does have your um, electrical panel. Everything is marked. And when you have your inspection, the inspector Certainly check these out, make sure that everything is okay. And you're gonna need that, the guys are still working as you saw. Um, this would need some knobs put on it because you can't really open it like this. And the paint right here um, looks like it's kind of over, over painted, over spray, or uh, they need to finish this. So I'm sure that will be taken care of. So this is the master bedroom, laundry room, slash bathroom area. Okay. Here would be a guest bathroom. Plenty of food. Oh, this is awesome for a guest. Beautiful shower stall, and it is made. These um, tiles look like a hard, a hard. Um, um, I won't say laminate. I'm not really sure. It's it's um, probably a vinyl. It's very pretty. Put your shower curtain up and you're ready to go. And of course, back, back here was another bedroom. Um, is there a bedroom in the loft? Yes, there are. There is. Okay, one or two. Two the loft. So you've got another room out here. This could be a summer. Um, or you could have a um, day bed back here. I'm not sure. Does this room get heat? Do you know if it gets heat? I don't see any vents. Looks like more of a summer. And um, the gentleman said, there is a bedroom upstairs. So I 
I'm going to um, I am gonna make my way up the stairs. Nice dark wood. And this is one of the bedrooms. You could make it a guest bedroom, maybe. Whatever you want. Nice, huge closet. With a light. Ceiling fan. View of the pond. So, that's pretty much it. Wait, you've seen the whole house and the, um, the lot. So I'm going to close this off so I can be careful going down the stairs. And I hope you enjoy the video. And um, if you have any questions or if you want to make an offer on the property, just let me know. Thank you. Bye-bye.